Okay, so I've been checking out the latest test images for Berry Boot. Uh, Berry Boot allows you to run multiple operating systems from your SD card or from an SSD, which is the bit I'm interested in. So if I click on the downloading test images, I'll get this page. And uh, if you click on the last modified, it shows you the most up to date. So here we can see uh, Ubuntu 20.04, which was what I did yesterday as a video. Uh, and see that if you want to know a bit more about Berry Boot, there's also links in there uh, and how to install the whole setup. But uh, assuming that you know how to use Berry Boot and you've already had something running, uh, I'm downloading the latest image, so RetroPie Buster 4.6. And once that's downloaded, you need to unzip it. So if I look in my downloads folder, so you can see that it says RetroPipe Buster 4.6 image.gz. If you unzip it, it will look like this, uh, RetroPipe Boot. So that needs to be copied over to your USB stick. And here is my USB stick. So that's all that's on there. And now we need to eject that USB stick and pop it into our Raspberry Pi running Berry Boot. Okay, so booting up Berry Boot, click on the edit menu click and hold add OS. We have our USB stick plugged into the Pi uh, with RetroPi image on it. So copy from USB stick, RetroPi Buster, hit open and that's now copying it over to the SSD drive. And this will be an easier video than yesterday's uh, Ubuntu because there's really no configuration. The operating system is all up and running. Uh, and there'll be various packages in there, so various emulators in there. But we might want to add a few. Okay, so that's copied over. And just to show you how amazing Berry Boot is really, so all of this, so this is the uh, PyLab version of Windows XP Raspbian Buster, which is excellent, comes with loads of emulators, but also is a really good operating system. I've got another ordinary, two other Raspbians because I've been playing around with various different settings and things. I've got Ubuntu Budgie 20.04 running from this SSD, which is a, a lovely looking operating system, nice and fast, might do a video on that. Uh, and here is RetroPie Buster 4.6. So, set as default. So you basically, and there's more room as well, you know, there's, you can see the disk, uh, so 94 gigabytes still available. So I've got loads of room to put other operating systems on here. So let's hit exit. And now it's going to boot up, so let's hit return. Okay, so that's booted up. I need to plug in a controller, and I've got a wired Xbox 360 controller. So once your controller's plugged in, just press and hold any button, and it will go into this configuration. Uh, and the one thing I'd note on this, so obviously things like D-pad up, down, left, right, start and select is obvious on a lot of controllers. But uh, on an Xbox controller, Xbox 360 controller, the A button is down, but use the configuration they show you here. So A button E, so basically you're pressing the B button, which is the button on the, the right hand side east. So, and just, you can look at the visualization to, to set that up. Uh, but I don't think there's anything else that, uh, oh, and left thumb is pressing in the middle of the left analog thumbstick right thumb is pressing in the middle of the right analog thumbstick, and then the rest is all pretty obvious. And then hotkey is the Xbox key. So then once you're done, you're pressing the B key to accept that. And you can see there's no ROMs or anything in here. Uh, it's, uh, it's a first boot, and I didn't put my USB stick in because my other USB stick was in there, uh, the one containing the RetroPie image. So I'm gonna plug in my USB stick now. So the only thing about the Pi is that is there's not a lot of room in those USB sockets. So my, it's not a big USB stick, but it's, uh, it, it's a bit tight, right? So now if I hit start and quit and then restart emulation station. And now you can see it's added all the ROMs that are on my stick. And I've been playing around with some uh, different games uh, now I have a Dreamcast emulator um, and I show it in another video but I thought I'd, show it, I'd add it in this. So if I go to RetroPie and RetroPie setup, 
This allows you to add on various different builds or different versions of emulators. Uh, and I want Redream because it's one of the best ones on RetroPie. So manage packages, manage experimental packages, and somewhere down here, there you go, so Redream. So install, hit yes. And go to back, and back again, and back again, and exit. So you might need to perform a reboot for this. Uh, yeah, you do. Uh, so if I go back to RetroPie, RetroPie setup, perform reboot, and yes. I can let it boot on its own or I can press enter to do it quicker. So you can see Dreamcast has come up straight away. Uh, I watched a video by Metal Jesus and he there was a few games in there. Uh, in fact, there's one more to add to that that I, I saw and I thought that, that looked like I'd like to try those. Uh, one of them was Speed Devils. So let's have a look at that and see if that works straight off. And this is the first time, I haven't done anything else but what you've seen me do. Uh, obviously the, the games, I'll go through the games on the USB stick to show you how that how that works, uh, but it's all about setting up a USB stick in the correct way for RetroPie. Uh, and once you know how to do it, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So this looks like it's working fine. It just looked interesting from his video. I like, I like uh, Metal Jesus's content. Right, so oh, there's a two player option on there as well. Let's go straight into Arcade. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to have automatic at the moment, just, just while I get used to it. Graphics look decent, don't they? So I'm not sure my buttons... Oh yes, the right triggers definitely accelerate. Oh yeah, this runs well. I don't know the driving style, whether there's drifting involved. Oh, so I can look behind me with the digital pad. Brake a bit for that one. Oh, well, obviously they didn't brake. Oh, crikey, that's tight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so the, the gameplay's good. Right, this is tight. I don't know if I've got like a handbrake or something. I probably should have looked at the controls. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely going back to the... Oh, dinosaur. <laughs> this is a long... Oh, it looks like you can, do it. you can keep... Oh, no, you can't. Oh, I got past him anyway. So, uh, that is Dreamcast running particularly well uh, on RetroPie 4.6 on SSD. So, let's quit that. If we press the Xbox button, select and start, that gives us this screen. And we can go to exit on here. Okay, so this version of RetroPie that I downloaded doesn't come with a desktop environment. Uh, you can do it where you've got a desktop environment and also RetroPie. But if you're running Barry Boot, there's really probably no need. Uh, so if I want to boot up something else, so let's say Ubuntu Budgie, hit that set as default and hit exit. Just installed this and I wanted to have a play around with it, uh, but I'll cover it in another video. So if I want to check the files this is what you do with your USB stick. So basically, if I go down here, this is my, all my ROMs, all my games and everything are on here. So if you get a FAT32 formatted USB stick and name it RetroPie-Mount, when you put it in the Pi on boot up on RetroPie 4.6, it will create 
a load of folders inside there, uh, which is these folders. So things like ROMs and BIOS and configs, I think some of the others get added at a later time. But uh, so for instance, for your games, that's where you need to put your games, but it creates all of these for you. So you don't need to create all these named folders. Uh, so if I go into Dreamcast, because you saw that earlier on in the video, you can see that I've put, uh, in the case of Dreamcast, most of them are in folders, but I was playing Speed Devils, which you can see there. Uh, so you put all your ROMs into there, uh, and then when you restart RetroPie 4.6, that's how it comes up. All right, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.